Okay, so first off, some quick tools that I'm going to use to pop off, open the door panels on my Prius. Uh, Phillips screwdriver, flathead, something, and then I've got this set of door panel tools or pry tools, plastic pry tools I got from Harbor Freight. I think that's probably one of the most inexpensive places you can get this set for. First off, in here, there's inside the door handle part, there's a little rubber gasket. I'm going to start on the, on the driver's side since it's got the most electronics with the switches. Take off the Phillips screw, loosen that up. There's two screws on these door panels. This one, which holds the handle in place into the door. And then there's another one behind this. Got this flat head, so I could just pop this. So basically it's just held on there by pressure. These clips, hold on, okay. And then there's the other Phillips screw. So, take off that Phillips. Now use your pry tool and insert into the panel. I like to use the one that's kind of a little bit of forked end. And just start prying and then you'll start to see there's these white clips that attaches the door panels into the door. So just carefully work the tool over. If you start sliding it along in between the panel and the door, you'll see where the clips are attached and once you find that you use the tool right by the clip because you want to try and protect the plastic from breaking where the clip attaches to so just run it along the sides all over the door panel and start popping the panel some people just say that you could just use your hands you could but you just run that risk of breaking the plastic Here I show an example uh, just like by using your hands to pop the clips off with the panel. So just be careful and you should be fine. Again, I would suggest using the plastic okay. uh, trim piece. Now that we pop the clips off, we'll just lift up and over. There we go. And then, from the inside, as you can see, there's a couple of things connected. So, you can just pop this off. So, to be able to release this, it's, I think it's easier to just lift this cable off. So, pull that plastic out of the channel. Take off the cable from inside. Same with this other one. Just release that and... And take this out of there now it's released and then we've got the plug for the electronics which you can there's a couple of plugs here ones for the light and ones for the power switches so for the light I think it might be easier to just pop this it's a push right there push and then just pull that plug out there and release that. And then for the power switch, you got to push that in and release. And now the door panel is completely off. So, just to recap, the clips that we were trying to release earlier with the plastic tool. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight clips total, and there's nothing in the middle. This is one where it screws in, and the other one over here. All right. Now, to reinstall this door panel, we just grab the door panel here, put it up close to position. You can get an assistant if you need to, uh, but plug in, don't forget to plug in all the clips 
and plugs clips back there and then this clip clips down here to the door light um, and then here for the power switches and then once you got those clipped in you can get the door panel closer and then reattach these cables to their position just like in reverse on the white one on top is the actual lock the bottom one is the green for the handle so once you've got those attached then the door panel hooks on up top here to the window channel and then just get that flat and smooth and then the clips should line up behind so if you can see there's one right behind there there's a couple here they should line up to the holes and then once you've got them lined up you just use the base of your palm the base of your palm and just snap snap and just snap it all of those all the way around and that is it